I can't hear you. Now I can I can hear. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. Yeah, thank you for your interest. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's uh, great to be able to talk to you and talk about this uh, great new album coming out in just a few weeks now. Absolutely. It's uh, coming out in the uh, 25th of uh, November, so uh, pretty exciting. And um, so far, the feedback is really good, so uh, we're very, very happy. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it myself, too. I love the dynamics of this album, whether it's like straight-ahead rock, whether it gets really heavy, whether it gets a nice ballad moments. I mean, there's there's so much diversity that's going on throughout this album, but it maintains that core sound of what the band is, which I really appreciate. All right, that's uh, very interesting, and um, you're, quite wa- you're quite right. It's uh, very diverse. Uh, that's something that um, actually used to be a little bit of a problem in the past because um, uh, a lot of people are not really open-minded and uh, I guess it depends on what direction we we take maybe uh, but it seems to work really well with uh, this album and uh, I'm very happy about that because I really dislike to uh, to be locked up in uh, uh, in in a unique kind of um style if you if you want so uh I, i'm really happy that people um enjoy this side of uh, of black rain today and um i'm definitely looking forward to uh work in, in that direction in the future so uh yeah Oh, that, that's so great to hear. And I think that's such an important thing, too, is when you're able to realize that uh, you can spread your musical wings a bit, but you can still maintain what the band is all about. I mean, you should never be afraid to be able to uh, show off what you're capable of. But, you know, just, uh, of course, uh, uh, knowing what the band is all about at the same time. And I think this album with Untamed is a great example of how to do that. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, it actually, it means a lot to me that uh, uh, people do understand what, um, what we try to do. Um, and like I said before, it's actually pretty easy to, um, to lose people along the way when uh, uh, get engaged in some kind of um, d- different places and different uh, uh, styles, so to speak. Um, but I guess the... Um, Maybe the production of the album helps with that. It's, it keeps the whole thing very um, homogeneous. Uh, and um, you, you, you can really recognize the, the band. Uh, maybe it has to do with the, maybe the, the sound of the voice as well. Uh, it's, uh, I guess I have some kind of uh, annoying tone that you can recognize easily. <laughs> so sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. But um I guess it's pretty okay on the uh, untamed. So uh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad you uh, brought that up right away because I think that's one of the highlights of the album is the production of this album because everyone shines through on this album. Whether it's a drum fill, whether it's a a guitar lick, I mean, there's uh, whether it's a vocal pattern. I mean, when it it stands out, it really stands out, and the production helps with so much of that because it just fits perfectly for this album. Yeah, man, it's uh, something we've been looking uh, looking for uh, for so many years. I don't know why, but it's been really hard for us to find someone that could bring the right sound to the band. Uh, you know, nowadays it's um, it's absolutely uh, fundamental to uh, um, to be competitive in um, in um, in in the way you sound because. Uh, for the last maybe let's say 15 years it, it's it's been really like um, a lot of improvement in, in the in the way people mix the music uh, master the music so um, it, it gets bigger and bigger and uh, f- for the people for the listeners uh, they, they don't know too much about that and they, they only judge about the, the way they perceive it uh, and the the more it, uh, you you get it like the biggest it gets, uh, and the biggest the listener is gonna be like wow, uh, which is why it's actually um, a fun thing to, to to say. But it's better to have a bad songs with a great production 
uh, then a smash hit with a bad production. It, it's a little bit sad to say, but today that's how things work. So it was very important that we uh, actually finally found the guy that could uh, bring the band into the competition, so to speak. Oh, that's totally understandable. And, you know, I think from both sides, it worked out so well with uh, his production skills and what you bring as a band with Black Rain. I think it was just a, a great combination. And when you can deliver great songs and you can have great production, it just makes for a great album experience. Yeah, I totally agree, man. And um, we're, we were kind of uh, sad that we didn't meet, uh, we didn't know about uh because this is Hannes Brown. He's a friend, he's the singer of Kissing Dynamite. Um, and we, we've known each other for many years, but I had no clue that is, he was actually a producer. So that's a, uh, that's a little bit stupid. But if, if I would have known that before, um, we would have worked with him much earlier, I guess. But we just didn't know, you know. Sometimes you just hang out with people and uh, I don't know, you just talk about something else. But I had just... I didn't have a clue. So, uh, yeah. so the fun fact is when we start touring together, I realized that he was the one producing all the, the album for Kissing Dynamite. And I was like, wow, man, I really, I really need to send you a track and, uh, we, so we can try to work together. And um, I, it, it worked really well from the start. It was really easy to work with him. Uh, I think he have. Um, he has a really uh, great understanding of how music should sound nowadays and uh, um, how hard rock should sound because he's a musician as well. And uh, I guess he knows uh, what direction to, to take. And uh, I guess he just have great skills for that. So that was good. Oh, for sure. So thinking about that as well, too, I mean, what was it like to start writing for this album? Um... Well, we did actually start the writing a long time ago now, a few years back, I guess, right when the pandemic um, started. Uh, so I guess 2019, probably. Basically, we, we're constantly writing songs. So uh, it doesn't mean that we're going to use them, but, you know, we all were always more or less, more or less um, uh, recording stuff. So uh uh, so we we basically did that during the pandemic and uh, well we had nothing else to do so it was quite uh, chill uh, no rush we uh, we didn't know uh, we didn't have a deadline we didn't know when it would be released or if, even even if it would be released um, so it was quite uh, quite nice uh, I, I spent a lot of time recording uh, I spent a lot of time trying new stuff new sounds uh, it, it was quite chill. It was cool. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And especially when you don't have a, a deadline to be able to have the album out by, I mean, you're able to take the songs, refine them, make sure that they're going to sound the best that they possibly can be in the, in the songwriting form. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and especially that, you know, today, most of the musicians, we, uh, I mean, everybody has his uh, own home studio probably. Yeah? So uh, it's very comfortable. And um, you can record when when you have time. You can take the time you you need to do that. And of course, it's I think it's a very good thing to have time to step back a little bit, uh, and then to come back and listen again. And uh, everything gets much clearer, and you can correct things uh, all, all along the process. Um, I like to do that, especially with the vocals. Um, you, there's always a few things that you're not happy with and you know some uh, intonations some the, yeah the way you just small things and uh, in, in the end the small details uh, have a lot of in, importance so uh, it's nice when you have time to um, to deal with all that kind of things absolutely so thinking about that as well, too, was there any major changes that happened to any of the songs? I mean, I know from uh, the final product, it feels like every song feels so natural. But was there any major changes in the songs? Yeah, it depends on the songs. It's uh, it's always different. Uh, sometimes, you know, you just get an idea and it goes real quick. Like in a couple of days, you, you've done you're done with everything. Uh, and some other tracks, uh, I might have an example. Um, with the last song, the, which is called 
the end. Uh, that one I had for quite a while, quite a few years, and um, I didn't know how to use it. The verses didn't sound the way I wanted. Uh, it was kind of impossible to find a way to make it sound better. And um, I just had this chorus that I thought was really good and I really wanted to use it. So uh, uh, I went back on it over and over. And uh, I don't know, just finally one day it was like, damn, that's that's how it should it should be. That's how what I should do. And uh, it just came suddenly. So uh, for some reason, sometimes it just uh, you get stuck for really, really a long time. Sometimes I keep some material, you know, in my, uh, in the program for like a few years before I actually realized that um, ah, it's, it's still really good and we should do something with it. And I think I know uh, what to modify and what to change so uh, we can use it eventually. Uh, so you never know, really. It's always some kind of surprise. Oh, for sure. And, you know, that's a great example of uh, never throwing out a song because it can end up being a great song down the road. And I feel like the end is just a, a great closer for the album and a, just a, a great way to be able to wrap up the whole experience of Untamed. Yeah, thanks. It's uh, yeah, I try to keep everything, but sometimes I still throw uh, throw away some uh, some stuff I feel like uh, uh, that I don't want anymore. Um, sometimes it's a mistake, sometimes it's not, but, um, anyway, it, uh, it went really well for this album and, uh, we didn't plan to have so many songs on the, on Untamed in the first place. Uh, we are, we're always aiming for something, something around like, you know, 10 tracks. Uh, it's usually enough and, uh, you don't, you don't want the listener to be, start to be bored as well. So it, it's always uh, a thin line between, uh, uh, not enough and too much, but um, at some point, I, I mean, maybe because we had so much time to do it, we we ended up with um, uh, more songs than what we actually planned to have. So uh, I think we have like 12 tracks on the album and there's one more that we left for a Japanese edition. So uh, it was a good work. Um, um, I am personally very happy with uh, what we've done on this one. I, this is the album I'm the most um, satisfied about. And, and once again, it's probably because the, the production and the way it makes it, um, it makes it, the production really makes it shine. I mean, it's, it's really good. Oh, for sure. And of course, everything that's going on audibly sounds great on this album, but I really enjoy visually what's going on as well, too. Like uh, specifically the album cover, I feel is just a great fit for uh, the album. I, I love the colors that's being used. I love the representation of it. I, I feel like it's a great showcase and a great cover for the album. Yeah, thank you very much. It's uh, actually I, I had some... Um... I was surprised about the comments about this uh, artwork and um, many people actually thought it was, it looks like um, death metal, uh, <laughs> death metal kind of artwork. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't have this feeling. And for me, it's just a typical uh, hard rock kind of uh, design. So uh, I don't know, but um, b basically we just try to, um, uh, use the same characters that we had on the previous album, which was called Dying Breed. So we worked with the same artist. Uh, it's M Megan Mushi. It's a dude from uh, Indonesia. Um, and basically what we ask is to, uh, to use the same skeletons on each uh, covers and to have them in different kind of uh, different places, different contexts. And for this one, we... We wanted to stick with, um, uh, you know, everything that is happening at the moment. So uh, pandemic and um, war. So uh, all that all that stuff is uh, represented into the, uh, the design. And uh, I, I really like the way it looks. For me, it's a typical kind of uh, maybe 80s, 90s kind of uh, design. So I really like it. Yeah, I was going to say that. It, it definitely reminds me of like like a mid to late 80s like hard rock heavy metal album cover and i feel that's so appropriate because you know there's a lot of great heavy moments on this album too but of course the diversity but you know it's just like especially for like the title track i think that's like a, a great representation of that and i think it just fits so well 
Yeah, absolutely. I think so too. I don't know why some uh, some people uh, uh, see this like more aggressive and uh, violent kind of metal side into it, but uh, uh, I think it's quite far from, um, uh, uh, for example, uh, Cannibal Corpse uh, kind of cover. <laughs> 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 but uh, I, I was thinking more about like you know Iron Maiden, uh, to be honest, when uh, uh, when we. Um, we were thinking about this uh, album cover, so uh, I, I think it's a it's a great fit to the to the music. Uh, I don't, I can't explain more more than that really. I think it sticked really well to uh, what we play. So yeah. Oh, definitely, and and of course with that as well too with the uh, visually uh, the music videos have been so fun to watch. I mean, I can definitely tell that you guys were having a lot of fun making these videos. It it, it was a great watch. <laughs> yeah, it was actually. Um... For usually, I do not like um, participate so much into this um, video kind of things, uh, but for some reason, I got really involved in this time, and um, I, I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I had a lot of stupid ideas, um, and I think uh, what the big change with uh, what we used to do before is uh, um, we kept it very natural. Um, what you see on the videos, you know, it's it's really uh, it's really us. We don't try to uh, um, to be people we are not. We don't try to 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 do too much or uh, to act like something we are not. Uh, and I think it works much better. I think it's uh, much better that way. And uh, most of the people really, uh, uh, I, I think, they prefer uh, uh, this way of doing things. And it's, uh, to me, it, it looks much more fun for sure. Oh yeah. And I, I love that uh, every single video has like its own theme behind it as well too. So it doesn't feel like you're getting the same thing for every video. I mean, it's whether you're in a warehouse, whether you're in a sitcom, whether you're in a festival, I mean, it's just like, it, it has like all these great feelings behind it and it really makes every video and song stand out that way. Yeah, you're, um, you're right, actually. You know, it's not something we uh, really planned, uh, except for the, uh, the two first videos, so for Untamed and uh, Summit Jesus. Uh, those, we really uh, thought about the concept and what to do. Uh, we really actually write down, especially for Summer Jesus, uh, everything was uh, totally planned. Um, but the two others like Neon Drift with uh, Jim from Kissing Dynamite. Uh, everything came so fast and was absolutely not planned. Uh, it was all made in kind of in a rush. Uh, we, um, we had to, to, to think it through like really quick. And uh, it, it turned out really good actually for the, for, for the money we, we, we put in it, which it was really cheap videos. Um, except for demon or that was still uh, uh, quite um, a lot of people that worked on that one but uh, it, it it was still not planned so it turned out really good well I'm, gl I'm glad to see that you enjoyed those too i mean you know it's just like a, a like you mentioned before you you weren't so much involved with the the video making process before but now like you had like these ideas that you wanted to try and i think it just makes everything stand out and it makes the album stand out more as well too like it, it feels like black rain is in like top form right now like uh, the the best that you've been so far and that's got me really excited for the future yeah thank you very much um but definitely we never uh, actually uh, you know sometimes uh, people say like the the planets uh, finally align uh, it, it looks pretty good, and I mean, we um, uh, we never done that much into uh, in terms of promotion with the videos. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you just you have this uh, those opportunities, and you need to to seize them. Uh, and that's what we've done, and uh, I think it uh, it really serve serve the band. So. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to keep uh, working that way and uh, keep delivering a lot of uh, content. Um, I really enjoyed it. And um, w we already have a lot of uh, ideas for uh, future uh, tracks and uh, albums. So uh, hopefully we can, um, we can keep working that way. 
Oh, yeah. And I, I was thinking that as well, too. I mean, obviously, with uh, being able to have some of these songs uh, over the past several years, I imagine that uh, new material is at least on your mind, if not going forward already. Yeah, you, well, you never know uh, what's going to happen, you know, but um, it's um, it, it's it's still very exciting. We've been playing for a long time and uh, with this album, especially the, you know, the way it sounds and what we get. The, all the feedback we we're getting from it it's really motivating so um we we we, we still meet more and more people uh, to work with new contacts uh, like i said it's always new opportunities uh, so you you really want to uh, make things evolve more and more and uh, and, and deliver um, always better material so uh it's kind of it's kind of like like an addiction actually when uh, when you play music and when uh, when you're in a band so uh, you you can never stop <laughs> basically it's uh, that's what that's why all the old uh, all the bands all the big names they never actually stop even when they can't play anymore <laughs> Oh, it's it's true, but I'm I'm glad to see that the motivation is there. And it, when you got like the ideas for songwriting, and you you had the fan base constantly growing, and people are telling you uh, all these great positive things. I mean, it's it's a great motivator to be able to even uh, top Untamed when the next release comes, whenever that does. And that that's just got me ex- so excited. And of course, the other side of that as well too, when it comes to uh, playing live, like uh, is there anything coming? up in the future for this year or next uh we're hoping for sure um we have uh it's not me dealing with the all the concert stuff but uh i know we have some uh, confirmations uh for gigs in uh belgium and uk uh some in france as well of course Uh, we are waiting for some confirmation for germany uh, there's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of things cooking, so um, I, I cannot uh, say too much about it because I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, but for sure, we are planning to um, to play. We've been playing already like uh, quite a few shows since uh, this summer, and um, it went really well. And and actually, we uh, we made a, a lot of progress on that side as well. So I'm I'm uh, I'm very happy about it, uh, and we try to build some kind of um, you know we don't have like a lot of money to invest, but we still try to um, to to build a show and uh, to uh, to to give people like uh, something different, something with a lot going on, and uh, obviously we always try to play better and better, uh, but it's. Um, it was very satisfying on that side as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to to play much more. Oh, I'm I'm glad to hear that too because uh, this album deserves that live representation as well too. There's so many songs on this album I feel like would be live staples in the future, and it's it's great to see that uh, the band is getting tighter, the shows are uh, getting better, and so much to look forward to in the future as well too when everything gets lined up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, actually, we um, we started to play the new songs already, and uh, I think we have like four new songs in the set in the set list already, and um, and it works super good. So, uh, like I say, I'm uh, super motivated to uh, to add more new new tracks, because um, you know through the years you you always play this you have this feeling of uh, always playing the same songs over and over and you get a little bit tired of it. Uh, and now with this new album, we actually feel like we, we have more choice to, uh, uh, to, to, to pick in the album and to add in the set list because the songs, like you said, uh, it really feels like they, um, they, they fit much better to, to be played live. Uh, so uh, really looking forward. Oh, that, 
that makes me so excited to hear too. And I can't wait to see what's going to be added in the sets in the future. And again, like all the opportunities that I'm sure will come next year, you know, whether, you know, it's headlining support slot festival shows. I mean, there's so many opportunities that's going on and especially when you have a new album and it, I can imagine that's a great motivation as well too, to be able to change up the set list and be able to uh, uh, be happy to play the newer material and some of the other material as well. Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, really, you know, after a few years, you get really tired about playing some of the old tracks, and uh, it's uh, it feels real good to um, to to have new material to play for everybody in the band. And um, uh, I mean, you it's of course when you release a new album, it's uh, it's very important to promote it. So uh, not only on the live aspect, but you know, now it's a lot going on on the social media, so uh, it, it's a lot to take care of. You you really need to have the this presence uh, online and like uh, all the time, uh, which is um, that's the reason why we released actually already four singles, and uh, we just decided that we're gonna release one more right before the the release of the album. So uh, you know, it it allows you to. Um, get your chance to be part of playlist and expand your network and, you know, uh, to get new fans and, uh, and all that kind of things. So uh, it's a lot to do and uh, yeah, it keeps us busy, I guess, which is a very good thing. Oh, for sure. And now that's going to be excited that there's going to be one more before the release of the album. I'm very excited to see what that will be and what the visuals will be like to accompany that. Yeah. Well, it's, um, we're not going to uh, make another video. It's going to be more like a lyrics video. Uh, it's not impossible that we actually come up with a, a, with a video for another track in the future. Uh, but for now, I think we're done. We, uh, we, we did a lot of work already. We never done so much in the past. So uh, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to, uh, to release. Uh, we picked like one of the more more aggressive uh, song on the album to um, to give people uh, like we said before something a little bit uh, different diverse so uh, it's interesting to see the reactions oh definitely and uh, again i'm excited to see what that visualizer will be like when that comes out and yeah it just sounds like there's so many great things that's going on in the world of black rain right now and of course uh being able to uh promote everything and uh the shows to look forward to in the future uh future songwriting when that comes up there's a lot of great things going on and i appreciate you being able to take the time to be able to talk to me about all this i mean it's a busy time but it sounds like it's a very exciting time as well and of course with untamed coming out on the 25th of november on a great label like steam hammer it's so great to see all of these great things happening for you yeah for sure and uh actually you know um i don't think we um we've done a lot of promotion for uh for the u.s in the past so uh, I'm very happy to, to, to be talking to you right now. And um, like I said, the feedback so far is real good. We started to get some reviews from the album, which are, are really good as well. Um, so let's see, what's, uh, let's see what's coming. And, uh, but I feel, I feel quite uh, optimistic about the, about the future for the band right now. So uh, I'm happy. Oh, awesome. Well, I think that's a great note to end on. And again, I thank you very much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about everything in the world of Black Rain right now. And of course, uh, Untamed coming out the 25th of November, like mentioned. Uh, it's a fantastic album from start to finish. Great diversity in hard rock and heavy metal. And it, it, it's just a fun listen from start to finish. And I imagine anyone who gets the opportunity to be able to see this album cycles can be very excited for the songs that'll be chosen and the stage presence and just seeing the band constantly grow and grow in the future. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, you know, to hear that for me, it, it means uh, it means a lot. It means like you know, all the work we we've done is actually uh, kind of paying off, and uh, it's really important for me to uh, to get some uh, that kind of feedback. So, uh, uh, yeah, th th thank you, thank you so much. I uh, I'm 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 really uh, thankful. <laughs> 